This video contains three separate functions which you can use separately or together while designing. In the very beginning I want to show some new fittings we have. Here's the first one, TCPMU, which is from Linda. It has both male and female connectors. In my example, I'm connecting grand C's with male bends to the TCPMU's female ends. Another new fitting we have is a bent TKMU that also has one female and one male connector. I will connect the male connector to the end of another fitting that has a female connector. When there's a female male bent, the direction matters. There's a new function you can use to change the direction of the fitting. With swap connectors you can change fitting directions. Another new function is called duct to union. The name tells it all. With this function you can turn a duct segment to a union. Because the two T branches in the ductwork has female connection, they will need a union between of them. The last function in this round is smart product lock. This function can be compared to the functions you can use to lock the sizes of the ducts and pipes. With this function you can lock the product. You can pick the fitting you want that are in your Revit project. After the product is locked, it will remain there as it is. You can perform production model updater or sizing calculation and only the size of the product will change, but the product itself will remain. For an example, I will lock all the other products with smart product lock that production model updater was not able to solve. As you can see, when locking products, you can pick the fitting you want from the list. There's also data presented about the fitting. After the products are locked, production model updater handles them correctly and sizing will not give any warning about the unfound products.